Hi, I'm Amy from Trees Not Teas. We offer race participants the chance to turn down the tea at the end of a race and plant a tree instead. And today we are talking to ultra runner Damien Hall. Hi, Damien. Hello. Damien has been uh, instrumental in co-founding a new um, organisation called the Green Runners, haven't you? Yes. Uh, we're just a, a, a group of a group of runners concerned about the the climate and ecological emergency. Okay, um, so you've got four pillars in the Green Runners, I believe. Yes, um, here, I, I don't know if you can read them, but um, yeah, the, the four pillars are how you move, how you kit up, how you eat, and how you speak up. Um, and I've sort of made my made my personal pledges and but anyone who wants to join really they just need to pledge to improve on on one of those pillars really that's all you need to do so how to move you're talking about transport there yes and that will be for most runners that will be the biggest part of their footprint actually um obviously flights being the most carbon intensive mm -hmm. um but i've just i suppose i've got yeah i haven't flown for a while now and i've got in the habit of, of catching trains rather than rather than driving if it's just going to be me in the vehicle um Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of area people can improve improve there. I think. So, what is your pledge within Move? I can't quite read it there. Um, another year flight free. So I'm not going to fly this year. That'll be my third third year of that. And kit there it says repair it. Yes, I want to get better at making my kit last longer. Um, I mean, when we throw our kit away. Normally it's just going to landfill. Uh, all the shoes that have ever been made in the world ever, including runner shoes, are still in the world. Um, so it's, yeah, huge, huge environmental cost. And, and the production is actually more of an environment, environmental impact. The longer we can make things last, um, the better for the environment. So yeah, just repairing things. Sometimes in the past I've been guilty of, you know, maybe thinking, oh, you know, that's got a rip in it. Um, but now I'm gonna make sure I make things last. Fantastic. Uh, eat, we've got only plants. Yes, I, I've been a uh, full annoying vegan for maybe even two years now. Um, and, and again, people don't have to go that extreme, but just cutting down on meat, especially beef and lamb and cutting down on dairy um, will significantly improve your personal uh, footprint, um, can be up to up to 70 percent, actually. Right. OK. And the final one there, speak. Uh, yes, to speak up about it. I actually think this is the most important one. And um, as I'm proving here, I'm aiming to be even more annoying this year. Um, yeah, a, a climate scientist I really like called Catherine Hayhoe, Canadian. Um, I'm just glancing at her book there. She she thinks the most important thing we can do is, is talk about things. Um, obviously, you know, voting, hassle your MP, hassle brands, hassle companies that you don't think are doing enough. Um, but yeah, just talking about it, keeping up the agenda is is probably the most important thing we can all do actually. Brilliant, thank you. So those are your four pledges. So if anybody would like to join the Green Runners, how would they go about doing that? Yeah, nice and simple. Just go to thegreenrunners.com. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty sure there's a button on the front that says, you know, please join us now. Mm -hmm. um, it does cost you two or three pounds. That's partly to cover the website costs, but also you'll get sent a badge from Rerun, Rerun Clothing, um, like a cloth badge that you can stick to, um, you know your headwear or your pack or your t-shirt uh we were thinking about t-shirts but maybe maybe that's a bit uh yeah a bit of a confusing message so yeah you get a nice badge which hopefully people will wear with pride and yeah we've got hundreds of people signed up now it's it's been been overwhelming really 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 exciting and hopefully we can um hopefully we can make a difference brilliant thank you thank you ever so much for explaining that and for taking the time to talk to us today